The president said you, Senators Cassidy and Senator Scott, are coming up with an alternative health care plan that will protect pre-existing conditions that can replace Obamacare. Um, is that true, and what does this plan look like if it is? Well, as you know, it's going to need bipartisan support because Nancy Pelosi is the Speaker of the House. Every time I talk to President Trump, we talk about health care. Mm -hmm. He knows with regard to pre-existing conditions that I'm a doctor. My wife, Bobby, is a breast cancer survivor. She's been through surgery three times, chemotherapy twice. He knows I am 100 percent committed, as are Republicans, to protecting people with pre-existing conditions. We are absolutely continuing to work on this, realizing that it has to be bipartisan. My concern is that the biggest threat that I see mm -hmm. to the freedom uh, and the economy of this country is this complete government takeover of health care, which is where the Democrats are going, this Medicare for all with longer lines, right. rationing of care, higher taxes, less freedom. And it is now the liberal litmus test I of all the that. Democrats running for president. But that isn't the law as it is right now. Is it a mistake for the president to have joined the lawsuit to say that Obamacare is unconstitutional? Do you want it overturned? Do you want the courts to overturn this right now? Or do you want it kept in place until you guys figure this out? Well, first of all, this lawsuit isn't imminent. There's not going to be any decision on this for a couple of years. But it shouldn't be a surprise to anybody that Republicans are opposed to Obamacare. We have been for right. a long but time. But for 10 years, and you have been. We were actually, I was thinking about this. It was 09 that we began the debate. Mm -hmm. It's 2019. You guys have been talking about having a plan to protect pre-existing conditions for 10 years and you haven't been able to come up with one. You had Congress and the presidency for two years. You haven't been able to come for one. Why should we expect it now? You know, the Obama health care law, I think Republicans and Democrats agree it has failed to keep its promises. Prices are skyrocketing uh, and continue. I was in Wyoming at my medical office on Friday mm -hmm. uh, talking to patients, doctors, bronze plan, cheapest bronze plan in Wyoming for a family of four, $1,900. The deductible, $12,000. That's not right. The president is right. This is on the American people's minds. But you can't find an alternative that would make that cheaper yet with well, there, and protect pre-existing yeah. conditions, correct? Or well, you'd have it. Yeah. Well, right now, we've done things to lower the cost of pharmaceuticals. They're lower this year than last year. We've gotten rid of the gag order on pharmacists. We have found ways through association health plans to have people join together to get half the cost okay. of insurance, cuts the cost. These short-term plans, you want to let people buy what they need, what's appropriate for them, so they can get the care they need from a doctor they choose at lower cost. Let me ask this. Should the American people expect an actual health care plan alternative from the Republican Party this year? The, the American people should expect to not have to be uh, burdened with the incredible costs that are affecting them now as a result a plan. of the health care Will we see law. a new plan from the Republican Party about what their alternative is? You're, I've been working on a plan since the day I got to the Senate, and it is associated with health now. plans. It is. Uh, allowing people to buy what works okay. for them. Let ranchers join together and deal with transparency. The president is right on that. Drug costs, which are actually coming down, there are things that are working, okay. but we need bipartisan support at a time where the Democrats want to take over all of health care and eliminate insurance from 160 okay. million Americans. Senator Barrasso, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I wish we had more time on this. I have a feeling we're going to be debating health care. Mm -hmm. uh, we've done it the last 10 years. My guess is 10 more. Senator Barrasso, thanks for coming on and sharing your views, sir. Thanks, thanks for having me.